Hey everyone, Dorian here, and for today's video, I thought I would give a little quick tutorial on how to build custom elevators in the game. Um, so the first thing I wanted to call out is if you have City Living, or um, I believe the Discover University pack, they do come with elevators that you need to use to get up to the apartments, but you can't use them in regular lots. So for example, if I were to sit this one here, I can't build a second elevator up to another floor. So it says you only allowed one elevator and then even this one you can't actually interact with it on this particular lot however there are a couple different ways you can kind of cheat your way into a into a functioning elevator that doesn't look too bad um the first way i want to show you is using the portals from the realm of magic pack so if you go into build mode and just type in portal you get a bunch of different portal options you get the pristine portal to the magic realm but then you also get portal entrance and portal exit one, portal entrance and portal exit three. Not sure why they're not in right order, but whatever. And then portal entrance and portal exit two. All you need to do if you want to create an elevator is use these portals. So you need um, an entrance and an, an entrance and at least one exit. They have to pay the right number. So portal entrance and portal exit one would be used together. And yeah, so I created, um, I created like a shell, what would be like, I guess your, am your elevator cab. Um, it's just a small three by, well, it's a four by three room. Well, it's a three by three room and then a one by three room. Uh, the three by three room, I just decorated it like I would like a standard elevator. So I put some wall paneling, put some mirrors and just like a concrete floor. And then the portal, what you can do is the portal entrance. You can stick this in this little slot behind it. You will need to size it down. So if you use the bracket key, you can size it down one. Um, I will say this does work best with medium wall height because even if you do size it down with a small wall height, you can size down the portal itself, but the, um, the little portal effect doesn't disappear. So that would still kind of poke through your wall there. So it may not be a big deal to you, so, but use medium wall height. You can kind of just still hide that pretty well. Now you size it down one and then you stick it in this little room here and then you go up to your next floor. You can put as many exits as you need for however many floors you have. We're just going to do one for right now. We'll size it down one and we'll stick it back here. Um, the cool thing about the portals is that they'll work between walls. Like you don't need to have this open. So you can't kind of hide this back here for it to work. And I'll show you right now. We have Sim Dorian here in his fall attire. But no, all we would need to do is, so we have it set up. Again, we can't interact with this one, but if we did want to get up to this floor, we just click and type go here and he'll just walk right through and it'll give you the impression that he took an elevator up. Um, like I said, you can put multiples of these down. So we'll go ahead. I do have a few other, I do have two, two other floors that we're going to put some portals in. So I'm going to do a quick search for portal. And we'll do, we'll send, we did portal entrance one. So we need to do portal exit one for everything. Um, so we'll put one right here and then one right here. So for each floor, you can see, I also showed like a few different door options. Unfortunately, there isn't a really good like elevator door within the pre-made doors that are available. So I put a few different options I think might work. Personally, I like the Moschino sliding door, um, but you can use... You can pretty much use any door. I'd say a double door is probably the best to give you like the most realistic, preferably a double sliding door or just like a sliding door in general. I also use, I believe, what's this one called? The uh, large Shoji sliding double door from uh, um, Snowy Escape. And then I thought if you wanted to make something like a freight elevator, you could use the antisocial sliding double door from the industrial loft kit. It kind of gives like a more like industrial look, which I can see is like a freight elevator or maybe like a elevator and like a converted like warehouse builder or something. But anyway, they all work the same. Basically we just say, go here. Oh, we got helps if we unpause it and he'll just walk, he'll walk right out. And again, boom. Once he figures out his stuff and there we go. And if we want to go back down to the first floor, apparently he likes the, likes the decor. And there we go. So you can also put these underground as well. Like I said, as long as you have one entrance, you can have as many exits as you need. So long as you're using like the, the correct corresponding number. Um, if you're trying to build like a larger, 
like maybe like pretend make your own apartment building or like your large high rise. I would recommend using more than one elevator. Um, to personally, it's a little more realistic for most buildings have at least like two or three and you do have portals one, two, and three. So you could do up to three elevators and you shouldn't have any issues there. Cool. Okay, another trick you can do if you do not have the Realm of Magic Kit is you can use ladders. Um, you can kind of create like a similar elevator cab. You need to make it, depending on how many floors you have, you may need to make it a little bit wider because you're going to need them to, basically the ladders to kind of like step up. So you have it all the way to the right, all the way to the left, I'm sorry, in the first floor. Middle floor, you would put it up on in the middle. And then on the third floor, you put it up at the end. And that way you have... You need to make sure there's enough room for your sim to be able to get into the elevator, the, the main room with the ladders. So going back to the first floor, we put our first set of ladders in here. Second floor, we put our ladder in here. And you can see, you can kind of see the hole where your sim would walk up, he would walk out here, and then he can walk out into the cab. And then same thing here. He can get up, he can walk out here. But if we put a ladder here, then once we get to the fourth floor, then he can walk he can walk all the way out. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a shot and see how this works. We're gonna go to, up to the second floor. We removed our portal, so he's not gonna try to use those. We're gonna unpause it. And it does take a little bit longer. So um as far as timing goes, it you know could be the length of time as like an elevator ride up, but um it's a good way because the ladders are base game. Um, it's a good way to kind of get around it if you don't have Realm of Magic. So does he? Oh, there we go. Yep, he is working his way up. So he said it does take a little bit longer. Let us try to go up to the third floor. Slowly but surely, we'll speed this up a little bit for you. All right, and then last but not least. And there we go. So he made his way up using the ladders. Um, we had the ladders kind of hidden behind this wall, so it kind of gives the illusion that you're still in an, an elevator cab. Um, personally, I don't like this solution as much as I like the portals. I think the portals are a little cleaner, but not if you don't have the Realm of Magic kit. This is kind of a this is kind of a nice way to get around it. Um, you could also. Yeah, and I think ladders, they don't take up as much space as stairs, so you wouldn't need as much of a as much of a little back area back here to get around in. And that is everything I have. Like I said, you can kind of, once you have your uh, process in place, you can kind of use whatever whatever doors you want and uh, decorate the inside as need be. Like I said, these are relatively small rooms, so you're probably not as concerned about what you put in them. But if you want to make it look realistic, I would say do um, maybe some wall panels, maybe some mirrors, especially along the back wall and like a concrete floor or like a carpeted floor. And that is everything I have. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, would like to see more, please consider liking and liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Um, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment as well. Thank you all, have a great day, bye.